Go back to Duke. Reacts. We got another one for y'all. You wanted more Frank Zappa? You wanted more Frank Zappa? You got more Zappa. We're doing Dirty Love today by request. Frank Zappa, Dirty Love. Gotta hit y'all with more Zappa. My man, my homeboy. Dude's music has gotten me through some tough ass times, I tell you. My guy. Let's get it. <laughs> yes, sir. This is from the 1973 Smash album, Overnight Sensation. This is this this is a banger. This is a real banger. Give me your dirty love. Like your mind surrounds in some very hey. Like, what? What are you saying? What are you saying? Like your mind surrounds in some very own in your dreams. Some dragon in your dreams. Okay. Your dirty love. Zappa, Zappa, you gotta leave these ladies alone, man. You, these ladies cannot handle Frank Zappa. They they could not for many years. His wife surely could not either. He was uh, he apparently got around from from what I've heard. He he did enjoy sex from time to time. You could say like that. I think no way to do a drag on and Who is that vocal? Who is that vocal? Who just who just came on the track there? Whip me up, son dragon. Look, I, I can't even go that deep. I can't even go that deep, man. This this dude, this show me be, be stealing the show right here. The lotion. Whip me up, son dragon <laughs> lotion for your this is I can hear the Funkadelic uh, influence. Um, this you know it's it's either Frank Zappa influenced Funkadelic and George Clinton or or, or vice versa. And it definitely sounds like it could have been either band doing this this record. Dirty Love, man, you know it, it definitely shares some of Funkadelic's crazier moments. <laughs> Like some tiny little pamphlet in your daddy's bottom floor. Okay, okay, okay. Give me your dirty glove like some tiny little pamphlet in your daddy's bottom drawer. Very specific. Very specific. Is, is that really what your love feels like? Is that really what the love feels like? Like, like a pamphlet in your daddy's bottom drawer? Come on now. Give me your dirty glove. I think that. Don't believe you never seen this book before. Okay, okay. Don't believe you never seen this book before. You know, the vocal, the, the vocal styling, man. I get a lot of you know, my, my hooks and the layering, you know. I get a lot of that from Zappa. There's only one Zappa. May he rest in peace. There will never be another. No one will ever be this cool. Nobody will ever be this cool. I'm trying, but not even close. I don't need no consolation. I don't want your reservation. I only got one destination, and that's your dirty love. Hey! Your dirty love. What he's saying is, you know, there, there's only one place I want to be. And that's getting getting nasty, getting freaky, getting dirty with this lady. That's, that's, that's facts. Man, Frank Zappa lived it. There were less rules in the 1970s. People did not get as easily offended as they do now. You could get away with more stuff on a record, too. And believe me, he, he did. I had never even known what this guy, you know, what he attempted, like some of the lyrical concept that, that he went for. This dude was a Mac Daddy and a half. I don't want your I only got one destination, and that's your dirty love. Your dirty love. Here it comes, here it comes. Thumbs up to the God Todd Solo. Whoa, whoa, 
whoa, whoa, what is that? That's not like fuck. He's getting some funk in there. The wow wow Wow, and I'm in. That, that's one of the, the best guitar solos I've ever heard. He goes crazy. Like, Zappa's an unassuming dude. Like, he, he's a band leader. He's an orchestra conductor. But when he, when, he, when he goes crazy with his guitar, watch out now. He, he will blow any, anybody off the stage. Except for maybe Eddie Van Allen. But let me know in the comments section what... What? How did Zappa stack up with other guitar players of that era? I think he was dope. Just like your mama make a fuzzy what? I didn't catch that one. I don't even know what he's saying. Make that nasty poodle chew. Okay. Okay. Woo! That's a bar! That's a bar! Zappa got bars! Ignore your cheap diploma. I'll just put you in a coma with your dirty love. Oh! <laughs> I got I gotta hear that again. The way he spit it too is definitely rap. It's proto rap. Little Bo Peep Diploma. That that's a shot at somebody. That's a shot at somebody, man. That's that's calling somebody out. I, I don't know who it was, but. Seventy-three, baby. Woo! Hey, this dude gets deep with the voice. I, I think that's the studio effect. That's Frank. Uh, that, that's actually Frank Zappa. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think that that's just Frank pitching, pitching his voice down, like like shopping and screwing it. You know, thirty years before that was a thing. <laughs> Okay. We got a little poodle fetish going on here. Okay, okay. You know, Weird Al took a lot of, of concepts and, you know, and inspiration from Frank Zappa. You can hear that in every Weird Al record. Every Weird Al record, you can hear a little bit of Zappa in there. This, this dude's a legend for a reason. <laughs> Banger. Banger. That shit, that shit was banging in every college dorm room. You know, people were getting it on to that song, man. That that was that was a jam back in the day. Banger. That was a banger in my book. Frank Zappa, Dirty Love. The most I've told this story in this channel before. The most incredible thing about Frank Zappa is that about a year before this this record came out, he he almost died. He he was attacked in London and his and, and his band, you know, and somebody almost set a venue on fire, his band was playing in. So the fact that he was able to do that and make it sound so cool and dope, he, he you know, he used that experience and used it as motivation to to create even doper and cooler records. I I I dig that man. That's an inspiration. Thank you, Frank, the Godfather, one of the Godfathers in the building. Thank you for checking us out. This is Duke Reacts. Talk to y'all next week. Peace. And check out my new music.